Hello all, welcome back. Thanks for your comments, subs and likes. Right, I really need to um, cut my grass because all we've had this week, well, for the last few weeks is a lot of rain, especially this week. But yeah, I put a barrel and set up a gutter on a little on my little shed down the end there. But I'll show you what I have uh, ended up with in the last couple of weeks. But I have been using it as we go along. So yeah, I'll show you that. It's only rough and ready really, but I need to uh, cut my grass as well. So yeah, we start with the grass and the uh, barrels and what I'm gonna do with the grass from now on. All right, this is what I'm gonna do with the grass. Obviously, you can see that the grass has grown quite a lot this week. So I'll give that a cut. I need to cut my um, front grass as well. But this has gone down quite a lot. Because we've had, like I say, we've had quite a lot of rain and what have you, and it's obviously soaked it through but now I'm not going to put any more in that one because I'm going to start transferring that over into this one so that's going to turn that that but that that has been in there since last winter because I started filling that up with leaves and stuff when I've got them from work so but we'll have a look at that in a minute because this is going to um, come off quite easy but I'll show you that in a minute but this has got my spent compost in it really so yeah I'll just spread that out a little bit and leave that in the bottom I'm not going to pull it right out because but, oh there, there you go, look, there's a slow worm there, but yeah, it looks like it's uh, quite well rotted down there, so that's quite good, but as you can see, it's got leaves from last year in it as well, let's see how big this one is, there you go. But all he wants to do really is uh, get away. So I'll let him bury himself. But yeah, as I was saying, this is had leaves and what have you from last year. Oh, there's more look there. Like I've said, I had a big nest of um, slow worms in that tree stump. It looks like he's uh, had his end chopped off. But there you go, that's what you're supposed to do, mate. Hide yourself like that and not just go at the top. But yeah, so I might have to be a little bit careful when I start turning this. But as you can see, it is uh, quite nice under there. So there should be some good stuff. So yeah, right. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, Get and cut my grass first and then I'll put that in here then possibly dig the top of that out and move some of that over into that other new, other compost bin so right grass time first right I've cut this and the front one as well I load it down to the next setting which is like the middle and it cut a lot quite nice so this was cut on the highest setting so next time this will get cut on a bit lower next time but there's not really that much grass but every little bit counts you know what I mean so there you go there's that in there I'll tell my neighbour that puts his grass in my compost bin to put it in there from now on but yeah, I'll start shifting some of this over tomorrow now. It's a bit late now. 
So I'm not gonna do it all at once. I'll just do that a little bit at a time. But you saw what it was like underneath. So it's more or less compost on the bottom of that. So that'd be good. Well, this is the uh, rough and ready I was talking about with the barrels and stuff. And these were put here a couple of weeks ago. As you can see, that is well over half. But I've been uh, transferring it into here as well. So, yeah. Like I say, a bit rough and ready. Like the area, really. But it'll do the job considering it's only coming off of that little bit. Well, it comes off of that roof as well. But yeah, so yeah, good bit of fresh water. I've been using this because obviously it's rainwater. So there's gonna be nothing wrong with that. Well, it's a Saturday and I'm still getting a lot of rain. Most of this week has been full of rain. So I haven't been able to get out here and do that much really to be honest but I was going to try and uh, sorry about the spin around try and do that compost so I don't know let's have a look oh, the um, cabbages are sort of like going like the rest of them they've been mullered by the uh, caterpillars no the slugs I should say I'll show you that now then. Right, these were my greyhound cabbages. As you can see, a lot of weeds, but they are getting well mullered. Especially them ones up there, there's hardly nothing left. I know it's got a lot of weeds in there, but look, I'm sure you can see the stalks where they've been uh, having a good old munch. So, I'm probably just going to pull these out to be honest because they're obviously not going to get to nothing because they've just been mullered on the inside as well. I might leave this end one but I don't think they're going to come to anything really. But I think it's mainly because I've got these bricks and stuff stored around here and obviously slugs are riding in them a lot. So really I need to get this... Uh, half done so I can clear it then hopefully that will help with the slugs but I don't think it will because I tried to grow cabbages last year and then and the same thing happened but yeah the uh, run of beans are doing well as you can see they've got loads of flowers on now and I've got some flowers on this French climbing bean as well. So they're doing all right. You can probably hear the rain now actually. So yeah, I think actually I'm gonna pull these out today. So it doesn't matter if it's raining, I'll just pull these two French dwarf beans out. Cause uh, these two French dwarfs are coming on all right. They've grown quite a bit. Like I say, we've had rain for most of the week, so they've been getting plenty of water. So I'll get them pulled out and get them harvested. But these uh, carrots are coming on a storm as well. As I say, we've had plenty of uh, rain this week, so everything's growing all right. There's the other carrots. Right, I'll get these out because um, I can tell the rain's starting to come down harder now. As you can probably hear, it's starting to come down quite hard now. So, yeah, what I'm because these are the uh, beef steaks, and I don't want uh, like a big truss of flowers. So I only want like two really on a truss. And as you can see, this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm probably going to take like three of them off. So I'll cut it off there. Then there'll only be three on that truss. Hopefully that'll make them, that'll put the energy more into them other three instead of the whole six. So it'll make them a bit bigger at least. 
there's a truss down there as well but also I'm gonna take off some of these bottom leaves and uh, as you can see look at the size of these uh, leaves now they're like well that's like to my elbow so they are quite big so I'm going to take some of the leaves off the bottom of these ones as well so I'll get you set up and I'll stick you on a time lapse I think Well, there's a surprise. Been like this most of the week. I've probably had about one or two days of dryness, really. But as you can see, it is pouring now. Right, that's a bit better now. As you can see, I've cleared a lot of the bottom leaves off. So, yeah, I've got a couple of trusses on this first one that are setting and a couple of on the other ones there as well so it's good and I've taken off this one like I said I've taken it off there so it's still got three on it we'll see how we go with them that one's already set so that's good so I've got a couple of more chances for one more to set on now I don't think any of these other ones are set. No, they haven't set yet. That one might do by the looks of the middle of it. And this one, well, no. Oh, I don't know, that one might have started actually. Possibly. So we'll see what happens with them. But I've taken some of the leaves off of there as well. Blimey. That's better, sorry about that. I've got a bucket of uh, tomato leaves, I'll just chuck them in the uh, compost bin because there isn't no fungus or anything in here. But these um, sun gold, as you can see, the stem of them are as, th as thick as my finger. They're like beefsteak thickness, like these ones. So, yeah, they are quite healthy, so we'll see how we go with the ripening and stuff, really. That's going to be the issue, I think, more than anything. Well, we'll see.
Oh, I've got a bit of a leak. It's not a major one, but birds have probably been trying to peck like insects off of the tunnel and everything. But we did find it just a minute ago. It's quite hard to spot. I don't know whether you'd be able to, but there's a couple of, yeah, you should be able to. Look there, look, you can see there's a couple of like pinholes, one there as well. So it's not a major problem. I just have to try and get some tape on there or something. But yeah, not the end of the world. It's a bit of a shorter video this week, I'm afraid, because the uh, weather hasn't been playing ball and it's been raining most of the week. I think I was lucky to get my grass cut, to be honest. But, right, thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed yet, bell's down in that corner. Click on the bell, click on all, and you'll get my notifications. Right. Hopefully, I'll get a bit of a longer video next week for you. Right, catch you later. Bye.